All right, so when you went back and watched the games from Connecticut, what did you like? Maybe what still has to get better? Just what was kind of your, your um, final analysis? Well, probably the, the best thing for us was just how we played down the stretch. You know, you mm -hmm. got into um, a couple close games. We had foul trouble with Travion and Zach um, against North Carolina, and both those guys did some really good things um, in, in the second half. Um, from a defensive standpoint in North Carolina, it just we just gave up too many baskets. They were they were picking on us, and uh, we just have to do a better job of, of knowing who we're guarding, being clean in switches, being able to contain the dribble. Um, they did make some tough shots, but mm -hmm. um, I, I thought our defense was better um, in the next game, especially you know down the stretch. Um, our, our defense in the Villanova game was probably the best it's been in the last eight nine minutes of the game. Um, we're able to get some steals, able to get our hands on some basketballs, do just a little bit yeah. better job um, of contesting shots. But um, it's still something that's a concern just from from top to bottom, just our, our ability to to stay connected and really just know what's going on in, in every defensive possession. We just have some real lapses um, right. in awareness and in judgment and in, in some simple things that we should be able to do. But with that being said, we, we have gotten some critical stops when we needed to, and that, that, I think that is a good sign. I thought offensively our guys, you know, they shared the ball for the most part. We overdid um, some things at times, trying to kind of thread the needle a little bit in, in some of the things that we ran. Um, but for the most part, I thought our guys were really unselfish, shared the ball, that we had a good mix of, of drives, transition plays. And then also, you know, being able to play through our post in the half court. Um, so we just got to keep, you know, making improvements um, and getting better. You can always be, you know, better on the offensive end in terms of your efficiency. So we just got to keep working. You always talk. I'm sorry, Mike. Go ahead. Listen, the, the theme after the Villanova game was whether they got tired, your your depth wore yeah. down, and the shots that went in didn't go in. Whether the, correct. But just how, how, now that you've gone back and looked at it, how much was do you feel like your defense contributed? Right. To some of those missed shots near the near the end of the yeah, game. Yeah, well the probably the biggest thing was, you know, we didn't contest their free throws. Um, <laughs> so that's what that's what probably cost the game was their ability to uh, to not, you know, make their free throws and that's you know, a plus for them for many years. They've always been a great free throw shooting team and they had an unbelievable percentage going into the game. So I don't think we can dispute that. Um, but you know, it's just, it's from your perspective, like I said after the game, like we did do a better job of contesting, but with that being said, before that, they did make some tough ones. So you don't know if it's because they have a short rotation playing back-to-back -back games and we have, you know, a deeper bench and that was that was easier for us. But it's, that's it, it, hard to really kind of quantify, um, you know, what was what. I just didn't know if you, if you saw some stuff on no. film that would clear that up a little bit for you. No, not really. Okay. Not really. You always talk about, you know, you learn about teams when they face adversity, and there in the second half of both those games, you had some pretty difficult situations. Right. What did you learn about your guys, I guess? Well, I thought we made our free throws. I think getting in those, you know, we executed, you know, you know down the stretch. We, we got some key stops. Um, but it's still just a couple games. You know, yeah, it's, right. it's one of those things where it's great to see but you still got to keep working on things. You still got to keep getting better. You know, your concern is all the attention that you get. You know, how does that affect somebody in terms of doing their job? And we're already at a point where we're just, we're still young in some areas to where we have to have discipline mm -hmm. in doing our job. We had in the North Carolina game and the Villanova game, you know, we had two to three possessions in both games where we don't even know who we're guarding. And North Carolina and Villanova just get open shots and they miss them. I think Villanova made one of them. But there's like five possessions total there where like we get stops in four of those five possessions by the grace of God. You know, it's just like we don't like we got two guys guarding one. We got guys, you know, not knowing who they're guarding, not communicating, and they get a great shot and they just happen to miss it. So we got some breaks in there with missed mm -hmm. free throws and some things like that that are normally going to affect you and maybe cost you even the game. So we, we just got to kind of clean up. You know some of those areas, but um, it, it's good that you you make free throws, you make plays, you make shots. I mean, to make 11 straight shots is a, uh, you know, it, that's obviously a great sign, um, especially in that situation. Yeah. You know, and and so I, I think you just got to definitely keep building off of that. But that's a that's a great thing to see. What did you get out of Mason, and you try to incorporate him more now to try to get his legs under him, whatever you? Yeah, I mean I. 
I'll just kind of organically see how things go. Like, I don't ever, like, come out and say, like, this guy's going to play 25 minutes or this guy's going to play 15 minutes or, like, you know, what have you. Right. Um, it was one of those things where we were struggling to guard them in the second half to start the half. So mm-hmm. one, right as I subbed, I got him quick just because I thought Ethan gave us somebody um, from a guard standpoint that could move his feet and switch and help right. us there. When we had to do a four or five switch once, we had to do a couple other things. Um, it just seemed like he was a little bit behind. Not to say that other people weren't, um, but then we went with Ethan and then obviously we went with Caleb to finish the game. And uh, he did some good things to make it. So yeah, we'll just, we'll see, you know, how, how things go with him. You know, he's he needs to play, like he needs to get minutes. I've, Anytime I've been able to get Caleb more minutes in some of these other games, you see that I do because mm-hmm. he's, you know, he's the one guy that's transitioning from high school. He needs to play. He needs to, you know, to right. get in there. Now, will he always be the guy that finishes? You know, you never know. You never know how guys play, but you just want them to get as much experience. Well, when you sit out, the same kind of holds true. You right. know, you want him to get in there and play more, whatever. But you also want to reward people for playing well. Uh, just, just one last thing for me. Is there? Anything about Friday's game with Omaha that's going to test you? Anything that came off bad? But is there anything they do that is going to be a good test for your team? I think each team we've we've played before, we went and played in the Mohegan Sun, Mm -hmm. they all gave us kind of some different looks. These guys have been battle tested. They've played quality opponents already. You know, they do some things through ball screen. They they break you down. They have a couple guys they can shoot. So it's kind of a mix of the other teams that we've played. All right.